this goes out to any Smash fan, any Wii owner, or any Nintendo fan. That's right, folks. VideoGameCentral.com. We are the first to have this game. It's available now. VideoGameCentral.com. Go to the right of this video. Click on the video description for the link. It will ship to you. You have it before anybody else. You can come into our store in Howard Beach, pick it up. We have it, folks. This is the real deal, holy field. Manual, English, not Japanese. This is the American version, folks. English disc, you can even tell by the rating, which is right there, T15, folks. Alright. Here's our review for Super Smash Bros. Brawl for the Nintendo Wii. Enjoy. In the beginning, there was the Nintendo 64. There was the GameCube. What are these two systems have in common? Super Smash Brothers. And now, six years, three months, six days later, we have Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Hey folks, Sweet Johnny Cage here. This is our review for Super Smash Brothers Brawl for the Nintendo Wii. Once again, I want to state, if you look to the right of this video, you can click on the order link to VideoGameCentral.com. You can order it, it'll ship to you. We have it in stock. That's right, it's Friday, we have it in stock. This game isn't out until Sunday. We'll ship it to you, no problems. Come into our store in New York, Howard Beach, New York. Give it to you, no problems. It's worth the trip, folks, trust me. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get down to this review. Now, I played Super Smash Bros. on the N64. I played it on the GameCube. I wasn't a huge fan of either. I thought that Melee was too cheesy, I thought that the 64 version, there wasn't enough competition for it around New York, and Melee was just too cheesy. However, after having seen Super Smash Bros. Melee being played at the Evolution Tournament in Connecticut, as well as the Finals in Vegas, I had a whole new respect for this game. Now, I don't really consider Smash to be a fighting game, even with the massive improvements made in Brawl. I do consider it to have gone up at least five rungs on the ladder to achieving the status of a fighting game. That being said, let's take this game piece by piece. We're not going to give you too many spoilers, only because I know people hate spoilers, so this is a non-spoiler alert. There are not any crazy spoilers that you haven't seen already in any screenshots released by Nintendo or anybody. Anything that we've given you, nothing. You know, so don't worry, keep watching the review. It's cool. Alright, first things first, the adventure mode. This is the story mode, it's called Subspace Emissary. Now, this isn't the whole reason that you're going to buy the game, but it is really cool. I'm going to show you some footage right now. Uh, the first major fight is with the giant piranha plant, PD Piranha, from the Mario franchise. Here's a little uh, footage of that. Now, in Subspace Emissary, you start off as Mario, and then Princess Peach and Zelda get captured, and obviously it saves the girl. But then Zelda breaks free. However, Peach does not, so of course you have to go rescue Peach. Isn't that nice? What a surprise. And he started as Kirby, really. Mario kind of gets uh, bounced out in the fight. Now, right off the bat, after the first fight between Mario and Kirby, who invades? Meta Knight. He he's coming after Kirby. He's coming after everybody. Everybody knows Meta Knight from the Kirby series. He's always a main villain, always getting thwarted by Kirby and his friends. So that's who he is. He is also a default playable character. Now, that's all I'm going to show you of that. You have to enjoy the rest of the adventure mode. Trust me, it is a whole lot of fun. It's really good training. You know, you get to practice all your combos. It's a lot of fun. It was a great addition to this game, and they did a very good job on it. Also, if you notice, the cutscenes are amazing. Now, they're still not really on par with, next gen with either the other next-gen systems, such as the PS3 or the 360, but they really bring out the Wii's full potential. Twilight Princess did this a little bit, so did Super Mario Galaxy. I know when we first played Mario Galaxy, I thought that that was the the piff of graphics for the Nintendo Wii. However, I stand corrected. Now, getting out of Subspace Emissary Mode, all right, Solo Mode has returned from the 64 and Melee. Uh, it was great. I always loved Solo Mode. It was a great way to start off the game. It's great training, and it's also just a quick thing, you know, if you're waiting for your friends to come over to play, which, trust me, it will happen. I've already had people over playing this game, and they actually will not leave my house. Alright, so solo mode. Everything is the same, pretty much. 
if the last one that you played was a 64, you'll notice that there are no more bonus stages where you have to reach the end of the goal. Every character just has two break the targets, and the one that we did with Ness was really hard. The second one was really hard. Uh, we're not going to show that to you, but just know they are challenging. Uh, I'm sure we'll see some time trials for that pretty soon. All right, so that's solo mode. Now let's move on to what you really bought this game for: versus mode. Right, I'm going to show you some matches for me, and my friends. Just be aware that if you're a very competitive melee player, you're a tournament player, just be aware that your strategies are going to have to change. Everybody in this game plays completely different from each other. It's not really like melee where everybody is pretty much similar. Obviously, there are tier lists. You know, we're all aware of that. But in Brawl, everyone is completely different. It's a whole new game. It really is, folks. We're going to pick our stage. This is the default stage listing. So uh, no spoilers here. Don't worry. And there is a little button down at the bottom right for melee stages. The rest of the melee stages are unlockable. And if you click again, you'll notice that there are the three sample stages from the level builder. Now, the map builder isn't unlockable, so it's not really, so it's not available by default. You have to unlock it. I'm not going to tell you how to unlock it, but it's an unlockable. And trust me, it's a great unlockable. So, getting down to versus mode, there's a lot of things that I want to say about this. However, YouTube constrains me to 10 minutes, so I really got to talk fast. The new stages are incredible. My favorite one so far is the one from Yoshi's Island. You'll notice that things are things are constantly changing. The seasons are changing. Platforms rise with the big gel guys from Yoshi's Island, from the Super Nintendo, as well as the DS. It's, that's one of my favorite stages. Another one of my favorite stages is the DK stage. This reminds me a lot of DK Jungle Climber for, for the DS. Although that game wasn't incredible, it was still a really cool concept, and the levels were really cool. So this level isn't actually a side scroller; it's a top-down scroller. You're constantly moving up, the platforms are constantly changing, things get really hairy, this obviously will not be used in competition unless it's an actual competition level just for that. However, still really cool. Another really cool stage is the Mario Kart Wii stage. At least that's what I'm assuming it is. It just says Mario Kart stage, however, I'm pretty sure that this is an inkling to what we'll be seeing in Mario Kart Wii. At least it will be of one of the tracks. This stage plays very similar to the stage from the GameCube version, of the F-Zero map. Cars are usually coming. As you're playing a match with items turned on, you'll notice something new coming onto the stage floating in midair called the Smash Ball. You have to make your character hit this Smash Ball a certain amount of times while it's floating in the air, and then you'll get your hidden Smash. Trust me guys, this will be taken out of standardized tournaments because these things are completely broken. Not really broken, but they just do an obscene amount of damage and are pretty much game enders, and they're kind of unfair. So unless you're playing in an items tournament, you're not going to get to use these. But if you play with your friends, they're always fun, because a lot of them are really funny. And just a quick note about the melee stages, we played on the Hyrule one. It has been graphically tweaked just a little bit, just to make it look a little bit better than it did on the GameCube. But as far as anything else goes, nothing has really changed. The environment is the same. Every boundary is the same. One of the really cool features about this game is a screenshot option. So all you have to do is press pause, and you're brought up with the camera screen, which has been in since the Nintendo 64. However, in Brawl, you're able to take screenshots of everything, and you can either save it to your Nintendo Wii, or you can save it to your SD card to share on the internet. Alright guys, after about 20 game reviews that we've done so far, I'm very proud to say that this game gets a 95 out of 100, and a 5 out of 5 Lonnie face. Although it might not be considered a fighting game, it is still something to be recognized, and Smash has definitely earned its place in the competitive gaming world, both with MLG and the Evolution series. Combining unique gameplay with outstanding graphics on a system that doesn't have a whole lot to offer, Super Smash Bros. Brawl is a must-have title for any Wii owner. Super Smash Bros. Brawl will provide you with countless hours of fun with you and your friends, even if you're just going to be playing alone, it's still a ton of fun. Bring over your friends, there's really no excuse to play this game alone. Trust me, practice, go to tournaments, this game is something to be recognized, guys. You'll be seeing Super Smash Bros. Brawl in all major tournaments. Just yesterday, Evo2K.com announced that Super Smash Bros. Brawl will be in Evolution this year. So start practicing, get ready for that, get some money, get hype, get this game. VideoGameCentral.com, look to the right of the video, inside the video description. You could click the ordering link. Get your copy today. Come into the store. Get your copy today. 
I'm telling you guys, get this game. You will not be sorry.